would like to just sit down for a moment and talk, play some real talk. You should sit down too if you're not already sitting down. I imagine you are though, you're probably laying down actually. But if you're sitting down, or laying down, that's cool. Just don't be standing here for this commentary, because we need to be chill here, okay? Every commentary needs to be as chill as possible. So just sit down, okay? I know I just talked about sitting down for over 20 seconds. I know, I understand. But it's gonna be worth it, okay? Just chill. Breathe, alright? Just breathe. So I'd like to give a tribute to Black Ops 3. Now some people might not like Black Ops 3, but guess what? I do, and here's why, because I haven't played a Call of Duty throughout its entire life cycle from the day it's released in November to uh, October to November of the next year in about two years. I haven't played Advanced Warfare or Ghost for its entire life cycle. Okay, I played until about the second DLC. It could be because of zombies. Zombies may have kept me into Black Ops 3 longer. Yeah, they probably did. But it doesn't matter. I stayed playing a Call of Duty game within the last three years for its entire life cycle. Now, that's quite amazing if you ask me. So I'd like to give you a tribute out... Sorry, I can't speak. A tribute out to Treyarch for doing this amazing task. Thank you so much, Treyarch, for making an actual good game. Obviously, it was futuristic. It could have been a lot better if it wasn't. But you know what, I imagine your next game is going to be even better than this one. So I can't wait for the future of Call of Duty, and uh, I mean the future of Call of Duty right now is it's a little bit on the off side. But hey, I, I know for a fact that Infinite Warfare is probably going to die out by December, January, February. No, I'm not even going to tell you, I'm, like I'm going to make a promise with you that Infinite Warfare is not going to last past January or February, okay? If it makes it past February... I'm surprised, and I'm not saying it's going to be a complete ghost town. I'm saying like there's going to be a population. Well, they're probably not going to release the population to the public like they ha like on Black Ops 3 or uh, Advanced Warfare because they know how much the game is going to suck. So they're obviously they're not going to put a population. That would just embarrass them even more than they're already being embarrassed. So you know what, Infinity Ward, I had faith in you. You were my favorite, but I think I'm going to have to give it to Treyarch. And hey, maybe Sledgehammer might pull something out of the water next year. Now this sounds a heck of a lot like last commentary, doesn't it? Well, I'm sorry, you don't have to be here, just chill. No, but for real, I had a great time playing Black Ops 3 this year, and I can't wait for Treyarch's next game. Obviously the supply drops, I didn't like them at all because considering I got two weapons and I'm a master prestige, so I mean, it's kind of pathetic, but that's not Treyarch's fault, it's Activision's fault. And besides that, Black Ops 3 was okay. If, if it wasn't futuristic and it didn't have supply drops, I think it would have been a perfect game. But that's all for me. Thank you Black Ops 3 and thank you Treyarch. Screw you Activision and keep on chilling. Peace.